Hi hello and welcome to our channel Math Logic and today we will be discussing the concept of permutation and combination and we will be solving three problems taken from JE Lane's exam and this slide actually essentially relates to class 11 syllabus of uh, NCRT so either you can refer your textbook or if you already know the concept just uh, use it for uh, the revision and let's quickly go through the slides and what is a permutation, permutation. When the arrangement matters or the counting arrangements matters, it's a sequence matters, it's permutation and the sequence does, or the order doesn't matter, it's a combination, this is the main difference and this is the most important slide, we should know when to use uh, addition and when to use the multiplication, you use the multiplication when uh, you get the triggers like and together simultaneous like and when you get uh, or, or choose something like that you use the trigger uh, addition that, that uh, trigger is uh, will imply you that you have to use addition and uh, in today's problem will be uh, in video will be solving three problems of je in which you will be uh, acquainted with uh, what to do where to add, multiply and where to add and let's uh, see the other slides quickly it's permutation with interpretation and uh, some examples and avoiding some common mistakes pass the slide or you refer to textbook or not the same and uh, now let's go through the question. Question 1 is, in a group of 3 girls and 4 boys, there are 2 boys B1 and B2. The number of boys, uh, ways in which these girls and boys can stand in a queue such that all the girls stand together, all the boys stand together, but B1 and B2 are not adjacent to each other is. This appeared in J means 2025. First, we visualize the statement. 3 boys, uh, sorry, 3 girls and 4 boys. So, let's uh, draw a diagram. This has been what has been given. So first uh, let us uh, find out the number of ways in which boys can stand together and girls can stand together. That is the first condition and the second condition we will apply uh, separately. So first boys and girls can stand together in two factorial ways. So three girls, four boys and uh, the three girls among themselves can stand together in three factorial ways. Four boys among themselves can stand together in four factorial ways. Therefore the total number of ways in which uh, boys and can stand, stand together and uh, girls can stand together is 2 factorial and so why are you asking and because these are the ways in which boys can girls can stand together and the subsequent is girls among themselves can stand in how many ways and boys among themselves can stand in how many ways so there's an and 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 we are using therefore the we are to use the multiplication uh, here so we have 2 factorial into 3 factorial into 4 factorial Though we have 288 ways in which the all boys stand together and all girls stand together and without the condition 2 where B and B1 and B2 we are not taking, we will take it a little later. We are simplifying the problem. Now we will say the second condition is B1 and B2 should not uh, be adjacent. So let us say let them be adjacent, it is easy to find and then subtract the result from the original result of 288. So let them place, let us see them as one unit, they are together, it means B1 B2 is one unit and there are two other boys. So in three factorial ways they can stand and B1 and B2 among themselves can stand in two factorial ways and we need original ways, no? so by the, uh, the second restriction we have used here. So uh, that originally uh, uh, boys and girls themselves can stand in two factorial ways and girls among themselves can uh, stand in three factorial ways. This is B1 and B2 can be adjacent in 3 factorial into 2 factorial ways. Therefore, in 144 ways, these arrangements can be made. Therefore, the number of ways in which the girls can stand together and boys can stand together and B1 and B2 are not adjacent is, we have to subtract 288 from 144, we get 144 ways. So, let's see what the question number 2 says. Three, uh, there are 4 men and 5 women in group A. 5 men and 4 women in group B. If 4 persons are selected from each group, then the number of ways of selecting 4 men and 4 women is. So, let's go to question number 4. There are 4 men and 5 women in group A. 5 men and 4 women in group B. So, 4 are to be selected from each group and there should be 4 men and 4 women in total. So, let's see uh, all the possibilities. Four, maximum 4 can be selected from one group. So let's uh, choose four women from here, four women from here, three men and uh, one woman and one man, three women, two men, two women, 
டூ மன் டூ உமன் ஒன் த்ரீ த்ரீ ஒன் ஃபோர் உமன் ஃபோர் மன் ஸோ திஸ் ஆர் த மேக்ஸிமம் நம்பர் ஆஃப் வேஸ் வின் வி கேன் டூ ஸோ லெட்ஸ் பேர் தம் ஸோ இன் ஃபஸ்ட்டு கண்டிஷன் இன் ஃபஸ்ட் வே ஃபோர் மென் ஃப்ரம் ஏ அண்ட் ஃபோர் உமன் ஃப்ரம் பி கேன் பி அரேஞ்ச் ஸோ இஃப் யூ டூ இட் ஹவு மெனி மென்ஸ் ஃபோர் மென் ஆர் தர் ஸோ ஃபோர் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரம் ஃபோர் வி ஹாவ் ஃபோர் சி ஃபோர் சிமிலர்லி ஃபோர் ஃப்ரம் ஃபோர் வி ஹாவ் ஃபோர் சி ஃபோர் என் சி ஒன் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு என் சி என் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஒன் தர் ஃபோர் தட் இஸ் ஒன்லி ஒன் வே இன் விச் இட் கேன் பி டன் அண்ட் சப்போஸ் இம் வி டேக் ஆர் ட்ரா த்ரீ மென் அண்ட் ஒன் ஒன் ஃப்ரம் ஏ ஸோ வி ஹாவ் ஆஃப்டர் ஃபோர் மென் வி ஆர் டேக்கிங் த்ரீ மென் வித்இன் ஃபோர் த்ரீ ஃபோர் சி த்ரீ வேஸ் அண்ட் ஒன் உமன் ஃப்ரம் ஃபைவ் உமன் ஸோ இன் ஃபைவ் சி ஒன் வே Similarly, one man from five men in 5C1 ways and uh, three women from four women in 4C3 ways. We have got NC, N is equal to NC, N minus one. So, we are simplifying it to 4C1 into 5C1. So, we have four into five into five into four. In four hundred ways, it can be done. Or, it can be done that uh, two men, two women, two men, two women from A and B. So, 4C2 into 5C2 into 5C2 into 4C2. So, we have just uh, uh, derived the value of 4C2 and 5C2, it is 6 and 10. So, we get uh, in 3600 ways it can be done. Or, one man, three women from A and three men and one woman from B, we have uh, 1600 ways. And four women from A and four men from B, we have around 25 ways. So, total number of ways is here, you know, we have to add. Why you should add? So, in here we have multiplied, within that uh, section, the, you know, the, the pairs we multiply, 4C into 4C, 4C4 into 4C4 and got one way, otherwise, or we have an alternate one, these are all exclusive, so if you resort to one way, that is 4 men and 4 women, that's all, we, we are not going to go to the next uh, form of uh, uh, selecting them. So, uh, since it is mutually exclusive, we are adding either one way, plus 400 ways, plus... Uh, 3600 ways plus 1600 ways plus 25 ways which gives us 5626 ways now is it clear now so when we use and we have to use multiplication and when you when you use uh, r we have to use the addition sign so now let's see the third question why we are doing three questions in a row is that it will give you clarity on why and what we are doing and any doubt you just comment uh, in the comment section or reach us at our uh, real uh, gmail So, the question number 3 is the number of 3 digit numbers that are divisible by either 3 or 4 but not divisible by 48. So, either 3 or 4 means addition and not is minus sign, subtracting sign and let's see how to do it. Let's go to question number 3. So, total number of 3 uh, digit numbers is 900 just for our convenience every time. So, it starts from 100 and uh, it is up to 999. So, 100 to 999. Divisible by 3 is, the first number divisible by 3 is 102, last number is 999. So, number of 3 uh, digit numbers divisible by 3 is L minus A by D plus 1 which is equal to 300. So, we got 300 numbers. So, similarly, the number of 3 uh, uh, digit numbers divisible by 4 is uh, from uh, 100 to 996. So, L minus A by D plus 1, which is equal to, is not 5, 225, right? 225. 225 numbers, 225 numbers. So, it's here, no? not uh, three, 225 numbers. So, we have to find out uh, N of uh, 3 into 4. See, what is this? Actually, you have just uh, recollect your uh, basic uh, set theory you are probably learned in 10th class. See, you know, N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. What is this N of intersection B? It is common. So, there are some numbers which are common to both uh, 3 and 4. where 3 also can divide and 4 also can divide how to find out those two num- those numbers we take the lcm of 3 and 4 so that is 12 so when we find out the number that are divisible by 12 it will be divisible by both uh, 3 and 4 so uh, similarly we see the first number divisible by first three digit number divisible by 12 is 108 and last number is 96 so we have l minus a by d plus 1 is equal to 75 therefore the numbers uh, three digit numbers divisible either by 3 or 4 is 
n of 3 plus n of 4 minus n of 3 intersection 4 that is 300 plus 225 minus 70 which is equal to 450. So what is the next condition? Then uh, this should not be divisible by 48. So let us find out the three digit numbers divisible by 48 and then subtract it from the 450. So it will be easier. So the first uh, three digit number divisible by 48 is 144 and the last three digit number divisible by 48 is 960. Therefore, the total number of number divisible by 48, that is n of 48 is equal to 960L minus A by D plus 1 is equal to 18. Therefore, the three digit number divisible by either by A, either he is missing, either 3 or 4 and not by 48 is 450 minus 18, that is equal to 432, that is the answer. So, hope you have enjoyed this video. Practice more and more in next videos, we will be taking up uh, problems of uh, somewhat uh, moderate difficulty then problems of higher difficulty and so on so we will prepare you well for uh, je exams not an issue meanwhile we will be uh, releasing videos on your ncrt class 10 and 12 maybe in a couple of weeks time so that you have full revision for uh, january so uh, be patient work well and best wishes students stay tuned